what what did Danny Faulkner say about the gas pressure? He didn't. He just played a clip of him saying that. To, to paraphrase, he's essentially talking to, I believe, an interviewer, and he's saying, "I was asked, so I'm him. I was asked about flat Earth by somebody who claimed they couldn't debunk it, and I said to them, "Well, you haven't looked in the right places because you can debunk it." He actually said he he he's debunked it every time, never lost, basically. Yeah, that was Bob Enyart live on Real Science Radio. Yeah, that's right. I know the clip you're talking about. I just clipped it. Perhaps that's where Anthony got it from then. Yeah. Fair enough. So that clip that you gave to Anthony was played in his video, and that is what spurred you off to talk about him yesterday, which is to say that you've discussed this with him several years ago, I think 2016 or maybe 2017. and 2016, June. June 2016, there we go. And handed him his ass. So no, he's not smashed every flat earth argument that he's come across, quite the contrary. Early on, he's come across QE, much to his detriment. Well, those things don't get filed away and lost under our Ferrara Vodacci. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. It was funny how it all happened, too. It happened real quick because I was on a Christian forum. I was on that forum for like six or seven years and treated, you know, as the hierarchy. I was like tip-top dog up there. And it was it was a Christian and evolution-based forum. A lot of evolutionists come in there. And I was really like put on a pedestal even by the owner of the site, right? And then what ha you know what happened. I got, you know, how do you have gas pressure without a container? And I was just, I was being really nice. Um, I, I put this question to the more or less, that's where I got the Supreme Council from because we had a Supreme Council on there. And I was just asking these questions and they all of a sudden turned on me. I mean, it was almost immediate, right? And I got into it with the site owner and I started asking him questions politely. I wasn't being rude to him at all. And he would just dodge my questions and not answer. And what he did, he gave me a response with Danny Faulkner link in it. It appears uh, at that time that Danny had written an article about the flat earth. So he gave me the link. I said, what do you give me a link for? I mean, <laughs> can't you answer the question? So I said, yeah, I was really pissed off at that. Uh, and then he banned me from the site. And I took the link, I looked at the article, and so I called Danny Faulkner's secretary. I have a tendency to do that when I get really pissed. And I said, I want to talk to this Danny Faulkner doctor type one each, right? And he wasn't in, so I emailed him, and that's how it started, right? So I put, I think it was eight evidences for a flat earth. And since he's a Christian, I put a metric ton of scripture down too. And this guy couldn't answer anything, man. He was a joke, right? But I got it all on text. And we're going to see where this goes because I think Danny and I have a date. I'm hoping anyway. And I'm hoping that it's a public date. Yeah, the first question put to him was more or less, how do you have gas pressure without a container, right? And guess what he did? Is that rhetorical? I'm going to guess he said, we have a pressure gradient. You're exactly right. <laughs> I got something for you. Oh, Danny boy. Greetings and salutations. Today I was informed that Dr. Danny Faulkner, promoting his new book, Falling Flat, a refutation of flat earth claims has been promoted on Real Science Radio with Bob Enyart. This radio interview is dated November 8th, 2019. Welcome to Real Science Radio. I'm Bob Enyart. You've heard of the Flat Earth Movement. Well, whether they believe in gravity or not, many people across the Western Hemisphere are nonetheless falling for the Flat Earth Movement so we've, we've asked an astronomer to talk through this with us. 
along with the University of South Carolina, PhD in astronomy. Danny Faulkner is now with Answers in Genesis. Yeah, I think, um, you know, people that, that first hear encounter flat earth, they all say, well, I once believed that it was a stupid idea, but I tried to refute it and I couldn't. <laughs> well, that's because you didn't go to the right sources. You went on the Internet and you heard these arguments from flat earthers that you couldn't answer. Yeah, uh, That's because you didn't know the answers. I know the answers. I haven't <laughs> encountered an argument yet I couldn't refute but right, right. on flat earth. But uh, at any rate... Uh, so you're the answer man. And you haven't run into an argument that you weren't able to refute. Really? I'm looking at correspondence between Quantum Eraser, that'd be me, and a Dr. Danny Faulkner, dated Wednesday, June 15th, 2016, going through and to July 14th of that same year. I provided no less than eight evidences for a flat earth ipso facto pummeling the baltard spinning space monkey religion that you didn't have coherent response to that's not even counting the metric tons of scripture that you couldn't answer to so we have somewhat of a dilemma here doctor in between what you just claimed and the actual facts I suggest we have a discussion that'll be of the public variety to reconcile this issue, sir. I will attach contact information to this message, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Beautiful. We're waiting for you, Danny Faulkner. I can't wait. I really can't. This brings back fond memories. Yeah, it brings back fond it's, memories of George Musa stepping into this arena. So naive. I would I would imagine there's lots of people who watch this show that don't agree with our demolition of their heliocentric religion and would be of that exact mindset. Well, I just haven't managed to defeat these claims of these bonehead flat earthers. Doesn't mean I haven't got an answer to find. Just means I don't have it. Can you give it me, Doctor? <laughs> Maybe you can answer the person who's answer asked the question in the first place. Yeah, that would be the same guy you uh, addressed back in 2016 and just happened to magically forget about now, wouldn't it? He's got the same questions. And we're being asked them. And apparently you've got the answers, right? <laughs> Let's see if you can put your money where your mouth is. Narrowing yeah, that, the field. That would be hilarious, though. The God trolls atheists by making atheists run to Christians to get defense for their globe religion. <laughs> yep. What a wonderful world we live in at the moment, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the irony. <laughs> yep. How fantastic's that? I mean, they've been running to Reverend John Michelle for long enough, right? They don't even know who Reverend John Michelle is, man. Oh, co creator of the Cavendish Balls. They didn't know that until I told them. Neither did I. There's a lot of people didn't know till you told them, QE. I reckon so. The most amazing. Wouldn't that mean you? Go wouldn't on, that Paul. mean you have them by the balls? Cavendish balls. Globe balls. You got to be specific when you're talking balls, my friend. <laughs> He can't back down. I mean, he's Mr. I've never met an argument I can't refute. <laughs> That's my favorite line. <laughs> if we get a lot of people playing that over and over again, maybe we, we, we might get a bite. I think he's already bit. That's fighting talk right there. Well, he's promoting a book, so he's got to sell the book. So he's, he's out there. So he's fair game now. So now we appeal to his ego. Come and defend your book. Oh, right. So, potentially, some of the contents of your email could be damaging for his book sales. Hmm. That's interesting. I'd expect him to want to defend that stuff if it's going to harm sales. 